time. Okay guys, welcome back. That's the wrong screen. You get to see my bad overlay. Uh, it's all good. We're currently watching Psy vs BWL, the second series of today. Uh, now we've had some pretty cool games so far. That CVC was a little bit interesting, but kind of a lackluster in a way. We didn't see too much. Obviously the Ling engagements were very, very cool from both players. Uh, but that's going to take us into game two here, which is going to be a PvP between Grast and Castle. Now Grast, actually the clan leader of Psystorm. Uh, he did lose his first game, unfortunately. I did go one for one last round, though. Has put in a good, strong performance. I'm certain he's played a PvP before, uh, so just a little bit of a weird bug with the best opponent's race at the moment uh, through the switch over to round three. Uh, but we're going to have a PvP here, and it's going to be on Sin Peaks of Big Dude. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if we see both players going for two gate here, but we could see gateway into core. And uh, this should be a really, really cool game. Nonetheless, this is interestingly the first PvP we've had on this map. There's been a lot of Zerg, a lot of Protoss being sent out on this map. No Terrans as of yet, interestingly, whether that will change as we get further into round three is a lot to be said, uh, but it should be a very fun series nonetheless as we head on in to game two between Psy and BWL. It's Grast versus Castle. And spawning us off in the 12 o'clock position on Sin Peaks of Bankdu, we do have Castle. And spawning us in this 8 o'clock position, we do have Grass. Now both of them, they're going to proxy gate each other. This is unfounded. We never ever see this anymore. Like nobody would expect this to happen, but this is going to be a funky game as well. Now, Castle taking a little bit of a roundabout route to get to where he wants to proxy. Grass actually heading directly through the middle of the map, so neither of them know that this is going to be coming up. Now, it looks like Castle could be trying to mine through here. Now, little does he know that this is actually 40 minerals, so this isn't... Oh my god, please tell me he's not going to proxy back here. No, 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 don't proxy here. What are you... Wait, is he going to go into the main? He's not going to be able to break up here. Oh, he's sending another probe. He's going to proxy inside the main. And we've actually got a mana pylon coming down from Castle. Not actually blocking. Or by Grass, even. Not actually blocking anything. He's going to... They're proxying in each other's mains. This is... This is like best versus... Uh, best versus... Uh, uh, who was it? Oh, what was his name? I always forget his name. Damn. Oh my god, the Pimpus play trying to block the gateways, but it's going to be a forge. A forge going up in Grass's main. A gateway going up in Castle's main. Which is going to win? This is where we find out which proxy is the ultimate proxy. And which proxy is the loser. Now, of course, the uh, Castle uh, Grass will be able to take down any cannons that are added on. Uh, but this can actually also help Castle back at home build a cannon to defend against the, the Zealots. Oh, it was, uh, it was Popju, I think it was, uh, the Bisu game where he got, well, he basically forced him into retirement. Uh, but we're going to have another mana pylon just blocking off as much mining as humanly possible. This is kind of ironically going to help Castle, uh, but going to help Grass even because the Zealot, uh, the cannon's going to be a little bit more delayed. The first Zealot is out, kind of hard to tell exactly what to look at right now the cannon about to warp in the first zealot in the mineral line one kill already gonna get a second the cannon coming up to defend back at home but castle has so few probes right now this could be the quickest game of stpl history 
Another probe has gone down. He needs to save one. If he doesn't save a probe, he's going to lose. Because he won't be able to build anything. Now, GG. The cannon out of range of Grass Mineral Line is going to cause Castle to tap out. And Grass is going to take a very... But, whoa, that's actually the wrong screen. Grass is going to take a very, very quick comeback game there. 2 minutes 59. Possibly the quickest game of Brood War in the SDPL so far. I'm not, like, recording those stats. But I'm going to give the, the award to that retroactively because what on earth did we just see? A proxy forge against a proxy gateway and the proxy gateway wins because he can't afford any, pro uh, any cannons. That is so unbelievably ironic. I don't know what to say about it. What the heck was that game? <laughs> oh man, I have no idea. And you know what? The only way I'm going to be able to get over that and just to give my voice a bit of a rest as well, is I'm going to go to the final break for today. Uh, so I'll see you guys when I get back in about five minutes.